Hello website creators, welcome back to our channel. For today's video, we are tackling a common question which is how to export a Wix website to WordPress. If you're ready to make the transition, you are in the right place and we have got you covered, okay? If you have been using Wix for a while but have heard great things about WordPress, I'm eager to learn and to let you learn how to switch from it. But before we dive into today's video, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. We are here to help. Okay, so um, before you can export a Wix website to your web WordPress, you might want to go to the web browser of your choice. I'm using Google Chrome right now but wix.com is uh, compatible to any type of browsers be it brave safari microsoft edge firefox so once you are to the web browser of your choice you might want to create an account sign up it's easy it's fast and once you've successfully created your account you might want to log in using your credentials okay so also you should go to wordpress.com if you are in wordpress.com sign in using your credentials and then here so once you are in both um in both website you might want to go to your wix.com and go to your uh site let's say for example this one okay when you are site when you if you already bought this domain okay so you just gonna need to get the url of the site right Say you finally uh, edited this, uh, this domain, if, if this is a final domain, you have to get the uh, URL of this domain. It'll take some load up. Okay. Once you've got that, you know, you can consider a lot of reasons why you might want to go to Wix to uh, the WordPress because some people believe uh wordpress offers a higher degree of customization compared to wix um, users can modify themes templates and add custom code providing more flexibility in the and functionality uh, wordpress boasts a vast collection of themes both free and and premium and it allows users to find a theme that suits their brand style so when you want to switch to wordpress you have the choice of hosting providers and can select on that that best fit your needs in terms of performance security and scalability all right so once you are here on the uh, edit site you go get the url of this of your domain and once that hover to uh to your wordpress account you have to go down here at the very bottom where it says um tools and then go to import all right you will be asked for the url right you have to add your domain if you already purchase it okay see that so once that you can always select the the domain of your choice so or if, you, if you don't have one and once you put that in wordpress provides robust seo plugins and tools It'll give users more control over optimizing the content for search engines. You know, if your website needs e-commerce features, WordPress offers various e-commerce plugins like WooCommerce, you know, which can be highly customized to your requirements. And matter of fact, WordPress has a large and active and helpful community, making it easier to find solutions to issues and receive support. WordPress will allow you for greater... Um, data e-commerce features okay and if you ever need to move your website to a different hosting provider it's generally easier to do so 
with WordPress. And also, WordPress is known for its um, blog, blog features. It has a powerful blogging features and it is often uh, preferred by um, bloggers for its uh, versatility and SEO friendliness because it has an extensive integration options allowing users to connect with various third-party services and applications. Also, while Wix is mobile responsive, WordPress gives you more control over on how your site appears on mobile devices. However, it's essential to remember guys that the migration process can be complex and there might be differences in the design and functionality between Wix and WordPress. So migrating from Wix to WordPress should be a well-considered decision based on your specific needs and goals. And that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching it and I'll see you guys in the next one.